Okay, so I'm going to teach you guys to do uh, a couple of very cool things with Firefox. Um, first off, let's get a copy of Firefox 3 before it's actually Firefox 3. It's called Firefox Nightly Build. And what I'm also going to show you is how to actually install add-ons um, or extensions that aren't apparently compatible, but will po probably, in most cases that I've encountered, still work. Um, and you actually uh, show you how to manipulate the extension to allow you to install it and there's a couple other things and also how to um, back up your Firefox profile so if anything gets screwed up you don't have to redo everything so um, first off go ahead and uh, navigate to Google and I'm gonna bring this up in a moment here I'm just going to a folder on my computer so uh, we're going to go to Google and we're going to go ahead and type in uh, Firefox Nightly Build. I don't have the best cam in the world, but it's going to bring you to uh, ftpmozilla.org and you'll see latest trunk or nightly. So we're going to go ahead and um, right now you, it'll tell you, like for example, right now it's uh, the work on Beta 5. So that means that they're cleaning up Beta 4 right now because they haven't released Beta 4. It'll be um, uh, I think um, middle of this week uh, if, you're, if you're watching the video as soon as I post so you go ahead and you can save the, uh, the executable they have zips of, of this but they don't have zips of the file so I don't understand why they don't do that but go ahead and download the installer I'm, I'm currently running Firefox 3 um, and there it is it's called Minefield it's, it's the code name for the nightly build now um, one thing you're going to have to do is I, I have multiple profiles, so I'm going to right-click on my my Firefox icon here, and I have Profile Manager added, and I'm going to add this in the uh, the About video, um, so you can uh, read all these commands clear if you can't see it in the cam because YouTube will compress the hell out of it. But it'll be Firefox.exe quote space dash Profile Manager all one word. And when you um, when you open that, I'm going to actually close out Firefox here and open it back up again. Firefox 3. And what you'll see, you know, if the cat wouldn't... Okay, there we go. And there's a different profile. So you can create a new profile. I got profiles going all the way back to Firefox um, 0.9. So I start Minefield. And there we go. Now. Uh, these profiles are saved under your, let's see here, it'll be like documents and settings slash username administrator for me, and then application data Mozilla, then we go Firefox, then we go profiles, oop, that's crash data, okay, and here are all the profiles, and I created, you know, different profile names. So let's say you're using Firefox 2, what you can do is actually, once you um, find you know, you installed your extensions, you tweaked Firefox just the way you want it. What you can do is you copy your Firefox profile and paste a copy. And, um, and that way, if Firefox screws up, you could take your copy of your profile, you can rename this, delete that, and then rename this copy. And of course, you'd make a copy of your copy uh, if you had to delete the original. And that way, if Firefox screws up, you don't have to go through rebuilding your preferences. And the, you know, you've added, you know, words that you use to the dictionary. Um, you've got the extensions installed. You have settings and all that stuff, all the way you want it. Okay, so now. Um, we're going to download an extension and force it to be compatible with Firefox 3. Keep in mind this does not, however, mean that it will work. Um, I've experienced it, it depends on uh, what kind of extension it is and what it's doing. So, so I got Firefox uh, open here and uh, I'm at Menu Editor because I like my Tools menu not to be a total... Um, See, it's nice and organized, it's alphabetical, it's not the default. My right-click menu is <coughs> it's not like a giant, goofy menu. So it's organized, it's clean, I just need to make sure I'm shooting the video so you guys can see it. So I'm going to right-click on this and save 
the profile to my desktop. It's a XPI file, and uh, there it is. Windows D brings me to my desktop. Close this out, and I got like, some goofy thing. I'm going to right click, I'm going to rename this to be a zip file, because that's all it is. I'm going to extract install.rdf. Actually, what I could do, yes, I'm going to drag it to my desktop, and I'm going to open it up, and then I'm going to change the max version to 3. I'm going to save the file, then I'm going to drag the RDF back in here, and I'm going to say yes, I want to overwrite this. Then I'm going to rename this back to an XPI. Sorry about the camera, but this is what I have. You say yes. I'm going to install it, and Firefox will allow me to install this. Now, keep in mind that does not mean that it will automatically work. However, half my extensions will work. Now, there's one. Um, I think it was. Uh, Hold on here. It was, I'm pretty sure, Paste and Go 2 um, or New Tabiora, one of those, um, would not allow me to install without tweaking something. So I had to go into About Config and uh, I'll leave directions in the video on the sidebar. And when you click the More link, to, um, and I'll leave some directions in there if you encounter that because uh, it required like secure, secure updates or whatnot. So, um, so there you go. So if you screw up your Firefox profile, um, you know you now you know how uh, someone uh, had some trouble with that. So I thought I'd post that for everyone, and you know now how to copy and back up your profile, and now you know how to check out the latest version of Firefox, which will be Firefox 3 if you're watching this video, basically um, just after I post it, and. Um, and get your favorite extensions, or at least most of them, to work with a new, newer version. Um, if, they, if they're not going to work, then you might want to mess with the code. You might be able to fix it, but most people can't. Um, so, uh, but at least you'll be able, you'll have a yet you know you'll have more chances of it ha working rather than not. So that's the whole point, of course, in the video. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, best luck. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me below. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.